Okay, so as you're working in Excel, you're going to want to format your worksheet so that it's easy to navigate and easy to read. Um, and the way that you'll go ahead and do this, um, first off, you're going to want to adjust the column width. So if you go and hover over the intersection between two columns, um, you can actually double click here and it will tightly fit the text that's in that column. Now, if you wanted to do this manually, you can do that just by holding down um, with your mouse, all right? Um, and then another thing we can do is adjust the number of significant figures um, in within a cell. So Excel doesn't know what significant figures are. So you're going to have to decide how many significant figures should this answer have. And remember, that's going to be based off of the significant figure rules. So are you adding and subtracting? Well, there's a certain rule that goes with that, right? Did you do division in this operation um, or multiplication? You need to go with the proper rules for those mathematical operations, okay? So say for this um, answer, I would want to put in uh, three significant figures. What I could do is use the decimal place operation here. So you can either increase or you can decrease the amount of decimal places. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease it so that there are only three digits okay, in this box. And then if I wanted to extend that to the rest of them, I can once again click and drag um, so that this operation is then extended to the rest. 